Hey everyone. So yesterday we were talking about shock, right? And we kind of defined the different types of shock. So let's break them down individually a little bit further. So let's start with cardiogenic shock. Like the name implies, cardiogenic shock deals with issues involving the heart. And we can kind of think of these as multiple different causes, right? So we have issues like a heart attack where the heart's muscle is impaired, where it's not going to be able to function and squeeze quite as well. And that's going to lead to a decrease in stroke volume, leading to signs of shock, right? Then we have things like arrhythmias, right? If the heart is beating too fast, it can't fill properly, and that's also going to lead to a decrease in stroke volume and then correspondingly a drop in blood pressure. We have things like outflow obstruction, so things like severe aortic stenosis that impairs the blood flow moving out of the left ventricle that can lead to, um, again, those drops in blood pressures and cardiogenic shock. So Cardiogenic shock is a very diverse disease. It's not as simple as saying that, oh, well, the heart's not pumping as well. Well, it might be, but there's a lot of other things that go into it and a lot of different etiologies. And it's very important to be able to differentiate between those etiologies because that's how we're going to start treatment. And we're going to talk about that in another video. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.